sleeping, sleeping with someone for money to give to my partner. Yeah, the biggest mistake ever I've ever done. Yeah. I want a caring guy, a guy, a guy that will always tell me the truth, even if he's wrong. He should accept his mistakes and actually say sorry. Because ladies, immediately you say sorry to us, we just forgive you, that is us. But I don't know for others do, but I know most ladies, sorry is something that whenever we hear from our partner, it makes us relax and just forgive him and move on. Experienced partner. <laughs> Experienced partner would, in terms of sex, sorry, in terms of sex, experienced partner would know how to sleep with me well, how to do it with me well, but a virgin, no, 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 no. There are lots of things I'm going to teach him. <laughs> there are lots of things I'm going to teach him. He needs to learn, and that will make me cheat on him. So I'll prefer an experienced partner. Yeah. Sleep with someone for money. For money. Why do you have to do that? Because he was so broke to the extent he didn't have anything and I wasn't also working. I had I also had nothing on me. So I had this request from a rich man, he wanted to offer me money to sleep with me. So I had to do it for him. Do it and give the money to him. Yeah. It got to a point, I think he was like, he's not happy with the way I am with people because he's like, he doesn't even know when he gets married to me and he has no money. Maybe I'll cheat on him, I'll sleep with someone for money. And he doesn't think he could continue the relationship with me. Yeah, he doesn't want a lady like that. Actually, I was with this one guy. He's a very cool, not outgoing, he doesn't talk. He's really a hard working guy. He doesn't joke with his work. He always goes to work. Even if it's raining, he will still go to work. He doesn't really know. Today is a holiday, so I'm not going to work. He doesn't joke with his work. When I met this guy, he was like, most of the ladies he meets are ladies that are in for money. So when he met me, he thought I was also like that. But I told him I'll prove him wrong. So when we started dating, I never asked him for money. I don't ask him for anything. I do everything for myself. I do go to his place, cook for him, spend the weekend, wash, go fetch water for him. I did stuff that I wasn't even expecting myself to do because I was in love with him. And he was also a womanizer. So when I came into his life, he realized I was different from those other girls. So he was like, if I'm, I'm what he wants, at least I'm beautiful, I have everything every lady wants. I can cook, I can wash, I can do anything. So he's going to forget about everybody and move on with me. We dated like a year. After a year, he started changing. I didn't know what I did. I asked him several times. He doesn't come home early. When I call him, when I call him and I'm like, it's late, what, what time are you coming home? He gets angry and tell me, I can't tell him what to do. He doesn't talk to me when he comes to the house. He only leaves me money when he's going to work. He comes back late, comes to bed and 
Yeah, after that he started changing. I had to talk to him severally to ask him what I've done, but he kept saying it's nothing. I haven't done anything. So I realized he wanted to go back to his old lifestyle. That is womanizing. And I saw a lot of things that gave me assurance that he has started doing that. So I, I just have to move on with my life. Actually, one lesson I've learned. Okay, one lesson I've learned is you don't have to judge someone by their appearance. Yeah, when you meet the person or whenever you are in a relationship with the person. Because when you get closer to, you immediately you meet someone and you judge the person with their appearance. I think you are going to make a big mistake. The best thing for you to do is to get closer and get to know the person more. Yeah, that's what I think I've learned. Sleeping, sleeping with someone for money to give to my partner. Yeah, the biggest mistake ever I've ever done. Yeah. I'm never going to do that again. Never, never.